Welcome to Code Spider. In this video, we are going to discuss section and render section in ASP.NET Core MVC. In this video, we cover what is section, what is render section, what is the use of section and render section in ASP.NET Core, how to use section and render section. Before jump to the section and render section, let's first understand what the basic structure of our application. In every application, have a header, have a body, and then the footer. And the application style sheet has been placed below on the header part. That means all the CSS has been placed here. And the JavaScript file or the JS file has been placed below on the footer element. This is a common structure of almost every application. So this is a common layout page and every page of our application can inherit this layout page. Suppose there is another view page and this page have some JavaScript code. Page name is a custom page and this custom page have consists some JavaScript code and we don't want this JavaScript code can be conflict to other pages. That means this JavaScript code is run for only for this custom page. And whenever this custom page is rendered on the body, then this particular script will run on the in this part only. So let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll see this scenario. You can see that this is our layout.cshtml and in the layout.cshtml there is a header part and this is the body part where all the pages has been rendered and this is our footer and after the footer we have added the some javascript file that are suitable in our application and this is our index page and the index page information has been rendered in the browser so let's move to the browser and you can see that all the information has been here so let's right click and view page source let's understand the render html and you can see that here is the html head and you can see that all the css has been added here and you can see that in the body element the header is here under the after the header you can see that this is the container and in that container index page html has been loaded here and here the footer and after that all the script file has been added here suppose we want to add some javascript file in that index.cs html and we'll see that how this result will come so let's add some javascript file i just add the simple javascript refresh this you can see that the alert is not working let's inspect this and go to the console you can see that there is error uncut reference dollar is not defined dollar you know that the dollar is the symbol of jquery that means the jquery is not found so let's right click here go to the view page source and we'll see that what happened you can see that the index page html has been rendered here here is the html part and here you can see that the javascript code due to all the javascript or js file has been placed on the bottom of our application so that it encountered the error dollar is not defined so to resolve this type of issue, we need to understand the section and the render section. Let's first understand what is render section. Render section is a space with specific name and it used on the layout file. Render section tells the application that some other code will be placed here. That's the definition of the render section. We'll go through the details in our practical example. What is section? Section is used on the views. That means render section is used on the layout page, whereas the section used on our views to create a section we use other section directive whereas to create the render section we use other render section directive each section has a unique name and whatever we will write inside this section that will replace the render section underscore layout with the same name for now you may think it's too difficult to understand but we'll go through the details about in our example then it helpful to understand in better way as i say that the section is symbolized at the that section directive suppose in the custom view page we have this type of code we have written that here we are the render section below the js part and the render section name is defined on the view page and it should be work in simply we can say if we put the dependent code on the bottom side of the jquery file then we reserve this issue so let's flip to visual studio and we'll see that how to add render section and the section in our uh, razor view engine so here i have the layout.cshtml page and as we have found that if we put the dependent code on the bottom side of the jquery file then we resolve the issue because of when the page is loaded when the layout.cshtml has been loaded it found the js file here then we have added the render section and in the index.cshtml we have added the section and it should work let's see how it works so here we need to add the render section to add the render section we need to type as other it then we need to type as render section 
you can see that there is two type of overloaded method here one is string name then another is string name with boolean is required so let's first declare a string name you can define any name according to your choice let's i am defining here scripts i have defined the render section as scripts so this name should be used in the index.cshtml so here i am defining at the rate section then scripts whatever the name of the render section name we should declare here then this curly braces will be posed here that's it so let's first run this and we'll see that it is working or not then we can discuss about in details let's refresh this you can see that now it is working perfectly how it is working let's see right click view page source you can see that there is no javascript code here but we have defined in the index.cshtml the javascript code if you move to the bottom of the code you can see that the javascript code is defined here how it come it's come due to the render section that means we have defined the render section as script in the below of the js file and we have defined these scripts in the section part that means this section will be rendered after the js file here so that you can see that this will be loaded into the bottom of the file after the jquery.js so after the finding the jquery file then it should be work perfectly so this is the simple way we can use render section and section and another thing is that we have declared the render section as script in the layout.cshtml that means in every page about us page contact us page every page the layout is implemented here but in the index.cshtml we have only defined the section of scripts we have not defined in the about us page in the contact us page so let's see if it's work perfectly or not let's click on the about page you can see that there is state forward error invalid operation exception and this layout.cshtml cannot find the section of scripts in the content page of the about.cshtml page but as i say before we don't want to import the javascript code in the about.cshtml so how to get rid of this to solve this there is another overloaded method available you can see there is another overloaded method is bool is required we can set as false or true then let's understand why this boolean value is needed this is because we have declared on the layout.cshtml page the render section as scripts and we have declared on the index page we don't want to the declare in the about us page that means whenever the page is rendered of the about us page due to define the render section as false then it should not ask to load the render section of scripts so let's refresh this you can see that now about us is working perfectly on the right click go to the view page source you can see that the about us page HTML content here and whenever we move to the footer but you can see that there is no script is loaded here this is due to we have added the render section script as false suppose we want to add the render section as uh, in about us page so we need to copy this thing and also we need to write this thing if i refresh this you can see that now the index page is loading pop-up message is come on the about us page because of we have added this script here let's remove this so this is a basic example of render section and section and uh, and in this example i consider the javascript code you can do anything if, apart from javascript you can do also some uh, html content or uh, some list value or something you can use on the section part there is no issue suppose let's add this alert box in the render section and section we'll see how it works let's copy this suppose we have added this in the index.cshtml there is no issue wherever we can add this suppose here i want to add this and in the layout.cshtml also the render section you can add anywhere in your choice if this is javascript then you should add on the below section because of the jquery.js is on the below part but i have to show on the css part so uh, suppose i want to add here let's add the alert because of the render section is alert so i need to here add as add the rate section then alert let's close the curly braces save this and move to the index page you can see that the alert is working and also as well as this script is working as well 
let's comment out this and refresh this you can see that this is working perfectly and whenever you go to the about us page it should be work perfectly because if we have maintained this render section alert equal to false suppose i make changes and uh, let's save this and uh, refresh this you can see that now it gives the error because of the section alert is not found in the about us.css template and suppose i want to and suppose i want to add this div in the about us page here and as well as here it's working perfectly and here also again according to your layout section it should be displayed that means i am currently adding the render section below the header so it should be display here suppose i move to the render section to after the body section and save this and uh, refresh this you can see that now after the body it should work suppose let's move this to the footer section and we'll, here i added the render section let's save this so now you can see that it came to after footer because you, you added the render section here so according to a requirement you should add the render section according to your design requirement so also another thing is that the render section can be used directly as boolean false or true or you can say it as required as false it also working perfectly suppose i make as true then let's see what happened and you can see that this render section of alert can declare on the index space on the about us space as well but in the contact us space let's remove in the contact us space and we'll see that what the issue let's refresh this it is working perfectly here about is working perfectly and in the contact space you can see that it cannot find the section alert because of we have declared as required true there is another directive is if each section defined we have declared other if each section defined of alert because of the section name is alert then this render section will be true that means in the contact space it check first the section alert is defined or not if it is not defined then it does not call this line let's save this and we'll check that reload this you can see that in the contact page there is no section is defined but still it is working this is due to we can declare the e section defined and the section name and if it is true then when the razor piece is called then it first find the section is defined or not if it is defined then this should be called otherwise it does not called i hope you have now clearly understand about the render section and the section in sp.net core mvc that's it in the video do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching